everyone welcome back to my channel side hustle seattle so if you've been following me for a while then you know that a few months ago i joined the amazon influencer program and i've since made a couple videos about what it's all about and since then i've gotten like non-stop questions about you know how exactly it works and how people can make money and one of the main questions i get is what strategy do i use when it comes to reviewing products and the short answer is absolutely none i have zero strategy when it comes to reviewing products, I just naturally review what I already buy. So if I buy something from Amazon, as soon as that comes in, I review it and that's it. But there are actually tools out there that'll help you make a more informed decision about what you should review and what you shouldn't. And one of those tools is actually called Viral View. Now, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and so far I really like it because what it shows you essentially is what are the most viral products out there and which ones are actually worth your time. So I wanted to show you how it works just in case you're looking for a tool to help you maximize your earnings within this program. So Viral View has both a Chrome extension and then it also has a web-based application. So let's start with the extension and then we can get into the web-based application. So let's dive into it. So this is the Chrome extension right here. Now, if I click it, a couple things that you're going to see, you're going to see product view, my videos, Associate Central, the web app, which I'll touch on later, and then my storefront, which I'll go through in a second. But what I like about it is as I search something, so for example, I search kid toys, because I'm a one-year-old. If I scroll down, now all of a sudden you're gonna see these viral view little box right here. And it's gonna give you different data points. But the main thing you wanna look for is the viral score. The higher the score, the better the product is for you to actually make a video on. So you can kind of scroll through and look at it that way. So no matter what you're searching for, search for any product that you normally would, you'll be able to see the score right there. But an easier way to actually view it is to click back on the Chrome extension and click product view. So when I click that, what you're going to see, and you can sort this by you know highest to lowest, lowest to highest, is which products within this category are the best ones to make a video on and potentially purchase. So now if I'm like, hey, I want kids toys, but I have no idea what I actually wanna purchase, I can use this to be like, okay, well, I'll purchase this, you know, piggy card game because one, I need the toy anyway. And then two, I know I can potentially make my money back. But the good thing is there's a number of data points that you can actually look at. So if I look across, the viral score is 95. You can see the current price of the item, 847, the amount of daily sales. So this sells 100, and 60 units a day, which is the ton, the 30 day revenue. And you can see if you currently have a video on it. So as you're looking through video placement, this is if you yourself have a video on it. And then the percent of commission that you'll make from this product. So if you don't know the way that Amazon influencer program works, you earn a specific uh, percent of commission based on the product category. So for this category, I would earn 2% and that would equal 17 cents. And then this is what I really like. So of course, the Amazon Influencer Program has thousands upon thousands of people in it, but you can see how many of those people are actually making a video on this particular product. So for this product, only two influencers have made a video. So for me, it's like, okay, only two influencers. If I make a video, there's a good chance that my video is going to be seen. And then you can see how many videos are in the top carousel and how many are in the bottom carousel. Now, I'll go over carousel in a second, so don't worry about that. But of the videos in the top carousel, all four videos are there. So there's two that are from the manufacturer, which means the people who produce the actual product, and then two from influencers. So if I were to make a video, I feel pretty good that my video would be up there, which means it's a good chance that it's going to actually be seen. And then there's some other number of data that you can look at. So that's just one way to use it. It's just in your basic everyday search. Next time you're on Amazon, search for a product, use the Chrome extension, and then you can make a more informed decision. Now, another way that you can use the product is to essentially just scan your storefront. Now, this is my storefront right here. Now, a storefront is very specific to being in the Amazon Influencer Program. If you're just in the Amazon Associate Program, you don't have access to create a storefront. And what a storefront is, is essentially a curated list of things that you recommend. So let's say there's like 30 products you love to use, Rather than sending your audience 30 different products, you can be like, hey, they're all linked on my storefront. Just go to my storefront. You can see everything that I know and love. And so this is essentially what this is. And every video I make of products also lives here. And so when you scan it with Viral View, it's gonna tell you a few things. It's gonna tell you which of those products is on the top carousel, the bottom, both, neither, or no carousel. And you may be asking, well, what is a carousel? Which is a great question. So if you go to the product page of of any product, 
sometimes you'll see right at the top where you're like scrolling through and looking at the product pictures, you'll see some videos. Now that is the top carousel. And if you have a video that makes it to the top carousel, it's more likely to be seen. Now the bottom carousel is the carousel of videos that lives like right above where the reviews are. That's the bottom carousel and you can still make commission from it, but obviously it's less likely to be seen because somebody has to scroll all the way down to see it. Now, if it's on neither, that means that the video I made is not being put on either one. Just because you make a video and you're eligible for on-site commission does not mean your video is going to be placed on the product page. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes there's so many videos that people have made of this product, yours just doesn't get in there. And then if it says no carousel, that means no matter what you did, they don't have videos placed on this product. So another way to think about it is there's 18 videos I didn't need to make because there was never going to be a chance that my video was going to get on-site commission from it. So I can kind of scroll through all of the videos I made and see which ones are performing great, like this one right here, one influencer video. And guess whose video that is? just mine. I'm the only person who made a video on this product, which means this is a great viral score. I am more likely to be seen because anybody going to this product is either going to see just the manufacturer's video or mine. That is it. But if you scroll through, there's going to be some stuff like this one, 69 influencer videos. I'm not going to get in that. That one's not even worth my time. There's no point in doing that video. So that's kind of how it works. So something that I also love is you can scan your most recent orders. So you can see what of what you currently ordered makes sense to review or what doesn't make sense to review. So this way, instead of me going through and reviewing every product that I purchase, I can make a decision on if it's actually worth my time or if it's not actually worth my time. So we talked about the Chrome extension. So let's talk about the web app real quick. So you can go first thing to the viral finder and you can scan by ASINs first if you'd like to. And so that's a unique kind of product identifier that you can put in here and see what that viral score is. Now, one of my favorite tools within the web-based app is when you go to viral finder and you go down to products, because this way you can actually just see what the viral products are within a category or within whatever specifications you want. You can go down to filters and you can sort by a number of different things. I like doing it by category. So even let's say that you don't need to purchase anything from Amazon and you just want to purchase stuff just for the sake of making a video, this can make it easier. You can go through and do whatever filters you want. Right now I have a filter to home and kitchen. And so now as I go through it, I can go ahead and just take a look at what are the best products to review within the home and kitchen category. So it'll tell me a number of different things that are listed here in the same data that you saw when we were using the Chrome extension directly in the search section of Amazon. So it'll tell you, of course, what are the sales, you know, how many influencer videos, et cetera, et cetera. And you can choose what you want to review from there as well. You can also, which I think is a little bit of a hidden gem, click on the videos button. So what this videos button is, it's actually directly pulling videos from my storefront. So if you're a content creator, then you already know you probably have a number of videos sitting in your phone, just like taking up an insane amount of space. And oftentimes I have to either like delete stuff or put it into an external hard drive or whatever the case may be. I actually didn't even have to upload them here. I put them on my storefront. I linked my storefront account to viral view and it pulled all of these videos in. So now I can go through and download these videos. I can download the thumbnail. I can then upload them to YouTube or TikTok or anywhere else that I want to upload them. And it'll also kind of give you some of the basic stats around how your videos are doing. I can even look at the products of things that I've reviewed within those videos because a lot of the things that I've reviewed have multiple products in it. So when you look at my videos, I may be linking three or four or five different products. It'll tell you how those separate products are doing. And then of course you can go to the orders page, which would pull in all of your Amazon orders for you to be able to see what's worth reviewing or not. But that's essentially what the tool is. For me, I think about it like it's just an easier way for you to see what's worth your time. One of the benefits of being in the Amazon Influencer Program is you being able to make additional money. But there's a lot of products that you can't necessarily make money on or not going to be worth your time to try to make money on. And you want to know that. And so that's one of the reasons I really like the tool is because it allows me to see, you know, what I should put effort into and what I shouldn't. And so now going forward, instead of me just making a video on everything, I can strategically put time into the ones that are actually going to do good. But that's the thing I like about the tool. Let me know if you've ever tried it. 
let me know if you're interested in trying it. I do have a discount code and I'll put it on the screen as well as in the description. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll catch you in the next one.